Hello, friends. This is Beverly Ray and sharing devotion with you today. Challenging. Yes, 2020 was a challenging year and so is 2021. Challenges are a time of growth for us. Challenges can also be a time of demise for us. Last year in January, my sister-in-law, Pam, died after a 16-year challenge with cancer. Pam chose to live through those years of challenge in a new way. Pam's word for each day of those 16 years was joy. Each day, she chose to be joyful about something even in the challenging circumstances of her life. What is joy? Joy is an awareness of grace that leads us to rejoicing because of the grace we have through Christ. Joy can also be gladness, cheerfulness, and a calm delight. James 1, 2 through 4 tells us, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. There were days and years of chemo that were challenging to Pam. She chose to treat the people caring for her in a kind and generous way. She was grateful for all their help, and each day she was also grateful to the Lord for the time he gave her on this earth. About two years before her death, the doctor said, you will be on chemo the rest of your life. Pam struggled with this news for a bit, but then she chose once again to be joyful and grateful for the life that she had. Her smile and her laughter came from deep within her spirit and revealed a peace and a joy that could come only from the Lord. Then in the last six months of her life, the news, there's nothing else we can do for you. You have tried all our research, all our clinical trials, and nothing is working. Even then, with many hospital stays during the last three months of her life, she was joyful and kind to those who were helping her. The visiting nurse who helped her the last month of her life was visibly heartbroken when she heard the news that Pam had passed from this life to the next. The challenges and storms of our lives are not easy. Each day we can listen to the Spirit leading us into a joyful response to our circumstances, or we can listen to our flesh leading us into an angry or defeated response to our struggles. Is your soul rejoicing because of grace or is it downcast because of the burdens you are carrying? Luke 8, 22 through 25 tells the account of Jesus calming a challenging situation. One day, Jesus said to his disciples, Let's go over to the other side of the lake. So they got into a boat and set out. <clears throat> As they sailed, Jesus fell asleep. A squall came down on the lake so that the boat was being swamped and they were in great danger. The disciples went and woke him up saying, Master, Master, we're going to drown. He got up and rebuked the wind and the raging waters. <laughs> The storm subsided, and all was calm. Where is your faith? He asked his disciples. In a fear and amazement, they asked one another, Who is he who commands even the winds and the water? And they obey him. Where is your faith? Is it in Jesus or something else? Do you believe that Jesus is in control of the storms, the challenges or trials, in your life? Do you believe that Jesus is all powerful and is present with you in these circumstances? What storms 
are you waiting to get calm so you can be joyful? Maybe there is a different approach we could have. I found a saying a few years ago that said, life is not waiting, is not about waiting for the storms to pass. It is about learning to dance in the rain. This reminds me of the scriptures I shared with you today. And it reminds me of Pam. Let's quit waiting for the storms to pass, the challenges of life to pass. Let's start dancing in the rain with our eyes on Jesus. He is all powerful and can bring love, joy, peace, and faith to any situation. Today, I'd like to close with a prayer that a friend of mine shared with me by Isaac Pennington. Let's pray. May the Lord God preserve you and watch over you. And may you feel victory and dominion over all that is contrary to him. And may you triumph over all that stands in the way of your fellowship with him. Amen. Let's start dancing in